Hello everybody and here's a little introduction on getting started in the Hardcore Games. The Hardcore Games is a battle of over 120 players to fight to the death where only one player can win. Players are allowed to use kits and any other items that they find in the game or craft themselves to be victorious. A kit is something that will give you a strategic advantage over other players when you're trying to do certain strategies or other types of strategies. For example, if you want to tower, it might be good to pick the stomper kit because when you jump out of a tower, you can deal damage on players below. In order to choose a kit, there'll be a menu that appears when you first join the game. Simply click on any of the kit icons that you have and then click on the play icon to play with the kit. Or you can click around on some of the other icons and you can see different things about the kit or about any other kits and what equipment they start with and other info about the kit. Optionally, you can also just do slash kit and then the kit name to choose a kit if you already know what kit you want to pick in case you don't want to dig through the menu to pick one. So now that you've chosen a kit, all you need to do is wait for the game to start. After the game begins, all players will be teleported to the center of the map and you'll be able to run around and start gathering materials. It's very important to gather things like wood, stone, because you're going to need to make a sword and you're going to need to make weapons and you'll need to make soup. Soup is one of the different factors that separates the hardcore games from other game modes. It essentially gives you an ability to heal your health and hunger very quickly. If you eat a soup when you're missing some hearts, it will heal at maximum three and a half hearts or it will heal up your hunger as well if you have full hearts. This can be very helpful in a fight. If someone has more armor than you, you can eat soup in the middle of the fight to replenish your health and to fight longer. Currently there are three recipes that you can use to craft soup in the hardcore games. One is to make it with mushrooms, another is to make it with cocoa beans which will make chocolate milk, and another is to make it with cactus which will make cacti juice. While not essential to winning the hardcore games, it can definitely help against people who have better weapons or more armor than you. So now that you've gathered all your resources, it's time to fight. During the start of the game, you'll have two minutes of invincibility where no one can hurt you and you can't hurt anyone else in which to gather your supplies. After the two minutes is over, the battle begins. There are a ton of strategies that go into the hardcore games and I'm not gonna take the time to go into them all, but I will say that your strategy depends highly upon what kit you choose. For example, if you pick a kit like the Hermit Kit, which gives you the ability where you're telling teleported with the rest of the hermits more than 300 blocks away from the center at spawn to a place of interest like a swamp or a jungle where you can quickly grab items to make soup and grab items to make other stuff but you're farther away from other players. Your strategy could then go something like this. Kill anyone nearby, go get some iron, mine it up a bit, and then get ready for the feast. The feast. About 15 minutes into the game roughly, the feast will spawn. It'll announce its coordinates to everybody in the game and then you'll be able to go to the coordinates and you'll see the feast. What the feast is, is a giant area of cleared grass that will, after 5 minutes, have chests and an enchantment table spawn in the center. The chests will have things like diamond armor, diamond swords, potions, and other things that'll give you a huge advantage when you go to take out the rest of the players in the game. It's important important to know though that everybody else in the game or a large majority of them will go to the feast as well so you're going to meet a lot of opponents there who have full iron or have good weapons and great strategies for killing other players at the feast so it's important to be on your guard. Keep in mind, however, there are other feasts, such as the mini feast, which will spawn several times throughout the game and will spawn in random coordinates and will give players a certain area of which the coordinates will spawn in. It won't tell you the exact coordinates, but it'll give you a rough idea of where they are. These have less items and maybe have iron instead of diamond, but they can have some really good items too. And it can include presents, which could give you your kit item back if you've lost it. At 30 minutes, they'll also be the bonus feast which will spawn at a random coordinate somewhere on the map and it's basically exactly the same as the regular feast and can contain very good items. It's important to keep an eye out for that because if you happen to come across it even if you haven't made it to the first feast you can quickly get powered up and ready to take on any opponent. 
So if you've reached this point in the game and you still haven't killed everybody, get ready because the pit is about to spawn. At 50 minutes, the pit will spawn and all players will be teleported to it. The pit is essentially a giant hole in the ground with a huge bedrock wall around it so players can't escape from it. But when you're teleported to the bottom of the pit, you'll be able to have all of the players who were left in the game that you couldn't kill in one location for you to fight off. Now, if you're teleported to the pit and you find somebody who's much stronger than you, don't worry because you can still tower outside of the pit and run around the top area or build another tower or get ready to fight them up there or whatever your strategy is. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully if you didn't know what the hardcore games was, you now have a better idea or a better understanding of it click on the video annotation or click on the link in the description to go to our next video which will cover more advanced strategies in the hardcore games or click on the link right there to go to the playlist which covers a ton of videos on all different types of subjects relating to the hardcore games and various tips and tricks